Now, before we get into the proceedings, uh, I'm just going to remind you of the reason we're here tonight. On a cold, wet, dark afternoon, February 6, 1958, a tragedy occurred which, which will be remembered by generations of Manchester United supporters and the wider football family forever. Flight 609 was making its third attempt to take off from Munich's Reem Airport in West Germany. The aircraft, aircraft had landed there for a scheduled refueling stop on its return journey from Belgrade. The British European Airways Airspeed AS5 plane was carrying Manchester United football team staff press on board. The team were playing their second leg of the European Cup match against Red Star Belgrade the previous day, having advanced to the semi-finals of the competition. The runway was covered in snow and ice, conditions were difficult, which led to the plane to crash into the perimeter fence on takeoff at 3.04 p.m. The total number of fatalities was 23, eight of whom were Manchester United players. Former home farm player, Irish international, United, uh, Manchester United inside forward, Liam Whelan, was tragically killed that afternoon. Tonight, we are here to honour Liam Whelan. We now would like to welcome um, the, the uh, priest from the local parish church here in Corpus Christi Church, Monsignor Martin O'Shea, also John Whelan, brother of Liam, also Larry Dunn, Manchester United, Finkel Ford from Home Farm, Kira Giles, Jerry Reddy, Alf Gibbon, and all who played with Liam. I'd like to welcome him them here this after this evening. I would like now to invite Monsignor Mark Moshe to step forward to say a prayer and a few words. gifts and talents. You accompany us as we grow and develop our gifts. And you call each one of us by name, which you have carved on the palms of your hands. Tonight we remember Liam Whelan. We acknowledge the faith, love and support which nurtured him in his family and developed his character. Liam was a gifted and a unique football talent which brought joy and wonder and enriched the lives of so many. As a young boy and a teenager, he honed and strengthened his football skills here in Home Farm Club and developed as a young man under the influence of staff and volunteers. We have laid a wreath here in his honour and we recall his tragic death at too young an age. Dying so young, he will never grow old in our memory, but will always remain young, full of vibrancy and skill. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on eagle's wings. They will run and never grow weary. We ask the Lord to hold me in with the robes of salvation. And may he enjoy the delights
everyone for coming here tonight and I have to we have to say from my fam talking from my family from Christy and Rita that Home Farm have never forgotten Liam. Nearly from the day one that Liam that with the funeral came in Dublin Airport there was a guard of honour outside the ground here. Probably some people probably remember that. Uh, I'm not gonna gonna start mentioning thanking people but I'd just like to thank Anna Vogel for all the work she has done and she was my contact here all the time. Uh, we will be saying, Christy and I will be saying a few words later on with Alf Gervin. Hopefully, uh, be something some people will remember some of the things we'll be talking about. But it's lovely to see some of Liam's ex players, the players who played with Liam here in Home Farm. So we we'll see you all later on in that case. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Thank you once again to the Monday Club. Uh, I'd like to now introduce uh, Mr. Alf Given. Uh, Alf played uh, during Neil's time at home farm. Alf is going to say a few words. Good evening, home farm football club. I played here with Liam Whelan many years ago. He was younger than I, and he was brought up to play on our minor cup team. And uh, our team that year, we won the league. I don't know how many games we went without being beaten. And for a guy younger than us to be brought into our team, just we, he just had that special talent that he deserved to be on the team. He helped us to win the cup, and we were delighted that he, he was there. We had another couple of guys too that came with him, Paddy Slattery, Eamon Grove, he reckons he was that age too. But Liam just had that special ability. He was a lovely, lovely man. And I want to say something about Home Farm. Sir Matt Busby made a statement, and I'm going to quote it now. That in, this is Matt now. In all my soccer traveling, I have never come across a finer organization and Home Farm Football Club in Dublin. And the fact that he used the word organization to me was absolutely amazing because Home Farm, for us as kids, you were instructed you needed to look really well. Your boots, your football boots had to be polished, shining, and Home Farm supplied everything else shining. And the reasoning was when you guys run out onto the pitch, you look terrific. So the opposition are going to say, oh, oh, we're up again it today, lads. And that stayed with us all our lives, and it was a shame that Liam was taken away from us so early. But Hope Farm was definitely more than a football club, and it still is. And long may it continue. And I do hope you have a lovely evening. It's here to honour one hell of a talent who was Liam Whelan, Billy as he was known in England, and... Uh, I don't know if any of you saw him play, but we, Home Farm sent a lot of guys over to England during their many, many years here. And Liam, I didn't know them all, but Liam definitely had to be top of them all. He had just had this amazing talent. Everybody that saw him said, God, that's a great player. I tried to tackle him once or twice. I was wasting my time, and I was quite a good tackler, I, I was told in my day. So I hope you have a great evening. You're honouring one hell of a fine guy. He was a lovely man, and not only was he a great footballer, but he was a lovely person. Thank you.
Christ will be hearing the song by another club again before the evening is out. I'd like to welcome now to the microphone uh, Mr. Jerry Reddy. He's going to make a short speech. Um, this is a piece that was written on the in the Irish press on the 13th of February 1958 um, by a chap called Benedict Coyley. Um, it's a piece for us and then it's followed by a poem. Um, it's a sad tale of four cities, Belgrade, Manchester and Dublin. Dublin turned out to give Liam one of the biggest funerals ever. He was laid to rest on the fringe of his own city, close to where he had learned to play football in a home farm. The roads around Daly Mount so often black with people on the day of a big game were black with mourners. The familiar sights and sounds round the cemetery were poignant in the clear air, and everywhere the crowds waited by the mill, by the garage, by the canal bridge, and by the cemetery walks, with their headstones and sombre trees to pay their respects. So uh, this is the poem now. The day you won your town the race, we cheered you through the marketplace. Man and boy stood cheering by, and home we bought brought you shoulder high. Today the road all runners came, shoulder high we bring you home, and set you at your threshold down, townman of a stiller town. So set before its echoes fade, the fleet foot on the sill of shade, and hold to the low lintel up, the still defended challenge cup. Well done. Uh, I'd like to thank Jerry for his uh, contribution there, and Jerry is, of course, the chief scout for Manchester United in Ireland. Now, uh, we're going to have uh, a piece from Kira Giles, and Kira Giles is the granddaughter of John Giles, very well known to you, and John uh, was looked after very well by Liam when he went to England. Uh, and John was followed <coughs> Liam over to the UK, and he was looked after very well as the older Irish man over there. He looked after him in, in Manchester. So I'm going to introduce Kira now, and she's going to read a poem that's been written by a child about the disaster. Passion and desire, everything at stake. The fans and the chants, the songs and the pride, all come together when they fight for their side. But what about the time when the glad times died, when the Busby babes lost their lives? The flags were half mast when the young red cells were passed. The world came to a silence, football had a stop to violence. Sixty years by, and the red flag flies high, United will never die. Hands are starting to get a bit cold now, I'm afraid I'm sure you are, yours are as well. We're just to let you know we're coming near the end of our tribute this evening. To have uh, a contact who was uh, able to persuade uh, the people at Manchester United to talk to us today. And we received a letter this afternoon at about 3 o'clock from the great club. Uh, and it's addressed to Mr John Whelan. Dear John, I want to take this opportunity to write to you on what is the 60th anniversary of the tragic and untimely passing of your brother, Liam Billy Whelan. Today, we think particularly of Liam and the 22 other victims of the Munich air disaster. It is our responsibility to ensure that their loss is remembered throughout the Manchester United family. Liam is being remembered at Old Trafford today in a special ceremony to pay tribute to all of the victims from the truly awful day in 1958. As players, staff and supporters take time to reflect on this tragedy which is woven into the fabric of the club's history. Whilst I wanted to share our condolences and thoughts with you on the ceremony in Manchester, I also hope that the special ceremony at Home Farm FC provides a fitting tribute to the memory of your brother. Once again, Liam will always be in the hearts of everybody at Manchester United. And that's signed yours sincerely, Ed Woodward, Chief Executive Vice Chairman of Manchester United Football Club. And now I'd like to call um, John Ford, and we're going to uh, present a copy of that letter to John.
And I'm just going to hand you over to the Monday Club who are going to finish off this evening's. Uh, Her voice is nearly gone at this stage. It's just an air tribute to um, all those past uh, members who, who have died and from the home parent family as such. It's called It's a Time to Remember. There is a place. crowd here on a, a very cold night indeed and to such a historic uh, location and um, I'd like to thank all our uh, dig dig dignitaries and guests this evening and also the boys of the under 16 and the girls in the 16 football team and also the Monday Club Choir. The club have asked me to invite everybody inside there are some refreshments available teas and coffees and so on and uh, probably be a great time to have a chat about the old days and all that kind of thing. Thank you very much for coming along today.